what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection or server issue you're currently having with tft or teamfight tactics so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will properly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys you would support my work on youtube a little bit and i'm gonna really really be thankful for that and i'm gonna thank you for that so anyways i would just say let's get right started so the first step I'd re i would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to click the windows key and the r key on your keyboard at the same time and once you did that you should be able to see this little tab in the bottom left corner of your screen and you're gonna type in cmd and hit enter so once this tab pops up, I want you to simply type in what I'm going to type in. So IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Once it is successfully flushed, you should be able to end this task again. And the next step is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings, navigating to network and internet. And the next step is going to be to open up your network and sharing center. Once you're here, I want you to simply navigate to the top left corner of your screen. Click onto the second link where it says change adapter settings and stick to the top left corner where it either says internet or ethernet, it just depends on which one you're using and it doesn't really matter. So right click, disable, once it is disabled, enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a few moments and so just wait patiently until it's connected again and once it is connected you should be able to uh, end this task, you return back to your network and sharing center, so just wait a little bit. Now. And this and uh, next step is going to be to click onto the blueprint text so either internet or ethernet again click on that click onto properties double click internet protocol version 4 and then they will use the following dns server addresses next step is going to be to type in at the top so preferred dns server address 4 times 8 or your google dns server address on the bottom so alternate dns server 2 times 4 or 2 times 8 and again or the google address once you finish click ok and apply and you should be able to have no issues again with connection and internet yeah guys that's it for the video i hope that i could actually help you out with this one if it was like that just leave a like a comment or a subscription i'm gonna really be thankful for that and i'm really sorry if i couldn't help you but i'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out either way i hope you guys have a wonderful day see you at the next one and bye